fashion. It is the way you choose to present yourself to the world. It can be fun, exciting, moody, or elegant. It can be whatever you want it to be. But there is more to fashion than the glitz and glam. Underneath it all, fashion is toxic and wasteful. And these two factors combined make it the second most polluting industry in the world. This is what fashion really looks like. And this is where it begins. And the clothes you are wearing today are destined to feed the fill as a consequence of the current fashion system. On my journey as a designer, I became more and more aware of these issues. And I wanted to move away from the system. So I began by exploring material alternatives. I became interested in where these materials were coming from. And this is my friend Jack, the sheep. He has some of the best wool. I became interested in natural fibers, such as wool, and I began implementing them into my work. However, I realized I was still contributing to the same system. Generally, the products we produce today last hundreds, if not thousands, of years. We select our materials, we make clothes, we buy clothes, and then we throw them out when we no longer want them. There's a disconnect here, and it just doesn't make sense. I envision a future where the materials we use can be transformed to feed the next generation of product. My team at AlgeNet shares that same vision. We believe that there is a way, that there is a solution to this environmental epidemic using biology. We believe there is a material out there that is completely edible, compostable, and fits into this self-sustaining cycle. So we began by doing some research and looking, at and looking at interesting materials people were already working with, such as bacterial cellulose. So we worked with it ourselves. We grew a sheet of bacterial cellulose, dehydrated it, and laser cut a tank top out of it. But this material just didn't have the properties we were looking for. So we went back to the lab and did some more research. And we tried some more experiments. And we found that one source that worked for us from a seaweed called kelp. Kelp is one of the fastest growing organisms on Earth. It is available globally, sourced sustainably, and there is plenty of it around. So we took kelp and combined it with a bunch of other organic compounds to create a series of gels. Some of them worked, and others not so much. But for the ones that did, they had favorable properties that made them moldable and easy to work with. So initially, we made thin films using this material to represent textiles. But again, we had trouble making clothing out of these films. So we looked further into textiles and realized that they're actually made up of yarns and fibers. So we made our material into a yarn. Some of our first samples resembled dried ramen noodles. They were brittle and useless, or they had no structural integrity and just completely fell apart. So we iterated and iterated until we found something that worked for us. We were able to produce thick and thin yarns. We were able to machine it and hand knit. And we even experimented with sustainable dyeing methods. We went from dried ramen noodles to a material that actually worked. It was durable and flexible. And we even developed a process that allowed us to produce enough material to create a product. And we knit a tank top. 
proving to us that this material had potential. But we didn't want to stop at a tank top. So we widened our scope and envisioned our material in other forms, such as foams, films, and 3D printed structures. With that, we designed a shoe concept. Algae Kicks is a revolutionary sneaker, redefining the way products are designed and recycled. Our shoe has three components. The upper, which is a knit textile designed for stretch and flexibility. The insole, which is a foam sheet uh, that allows for comfort and breathability. And the outsole is a 3D printed lattice designed for strength and agility. And it also wraps around the heel to provide for additional support. But the beauty of this product is that when it is worn out or you no longer want it, it can be broken down by microorganisms. And the nutrients can be reclaimed to feed the next generation of product. At AlgaeNet, we are proposing a new era of design thinking. By redefining current systems and creating materials that follow biology, we hope to inspire others to be part of this conversation. Join us in the transformation of the apparel ecosystem. Thank you.